just before finishing his 22nd season as leader of the South Suburban College Bulldog baseball team, head coach Steve Ruzich placed himself in an elite class by winning his 800th baseball game. Among active coaches, Coach Ruzich, or more affectionately known as Coach Ru, is now one of the top 15 in the country for wins in Division I baseball. But the humble chieftain of the Bulldog refuses to take a lot of the credit. We, we have one thing that we say in our program is you surround yourself with good people. I think I have great assistant coaches, I got a great family, I got a great wife that understands what it's all about. 800 wins just shows how far our programs come and I think 800 means a lot to me because I think it means we do it our way and I think the right way and I think people don't understand this which is special about our program is it's all done with local kids. You know with a 30 mile radius more than year in year out all these kids are from the area. And that's how it's been since Coach Roo started here. Not bad considering he has to replenish half of his team year after year. Over three quarters of his players graduate and move on. A college standout at both SSC and the College of St. Francis, Coach Roo was drafted by the Chicago White Sox in 1985. After a short period in the pros, he returned to SSC in 1987 and wore many hats, including head cross country coach, women's basketball and softball coach, and intramural coordinator before taking over the reins of the baseball team. A little over 20 years later, Coach Ruzich has won numerous awards, including the Region 4 Coach of the Year seven times and the Great Lakes District Coach of the Year. There have also been four sectional titles and two trips to the JUCO World Series. But his 800th win will always be on a higher plateau because he was able to share this with his son Tim, a freshman pitcher on the team. It was something really special. I mean, being with him for so long, watching all the games when he was little, just being a part of something like that is uh, something that I could only hope for. For him to be there for my 800 win, I think was something special because when he was two years old, he went to the World Series with us in 1991. So he was part of it growing up and it's just amazing how fast times go and everybody that goes through our program is a family member and obviously him being around for 800 is something very special that I'll never forget. This isn't the first time that Ruzich has coached his son Tim. He was also his youth baseball coach when Tim was 10 and 11. But has that much change in Ruzich's coaching style? He's actually, he was more calm then, now he's, it's a lot more competitive now. It, it is, it's, it's more competitive, you know I mean, I think that's what keeps you going on as a player and as a coach is the competitiveness to, you know, try to, you know, get out there and win every, every day you have a chance to do that. One side is obviously you're, you're really looking to hopefully have your kid do well while he's pitching, but more importantly, you gotta treat him fairly just like the other kids. Not many kids could go through what he has to go through. It's a tough scenario sometimes, but uh, he understands it's my job and, and he understands that he's a player and he, it's been a lot of fun for myself this year. Before the season started, Coach Rue was only 22 wins away from 800. You wouldn't think 22 wins would be that tough to achieve for a coach that's compiled two decades worth of winning baseball at SSC. After some disagreeable weather to start the season, the Bulldogs weren't able to play outside until their road trip to Southern Illinois in late February. The Bulldogs followed that up with a road trip to Texas, where the favorable weather lets teams practice all year round. Coach Rue found his team in an early hole with a gloomy 3-13 record. When we won that, three game, or that third game, it meant a lot because it had been so long since we had won and I think sometimes you take a lot of things for granted and uh, I think that was the turning point obviously when obviously we got back and you know we, we started believing in ourselves still. And believe in themselves they did as they eventually went on a 21 game win streak and finished the regular season on a 29 and 2 run. We weren't really down, we stayed up the whole time even when we were going through bad times and uh, my dad really helped us get through it, kept, had faith in us and uh, helped us get to where we are now. After finishing with a 37 and 17 record, the Bulldogs secured the number one seed in the regional tournament. They cruised to another three wins and won their fifth consecutive Region 4 tournament. But after 22 years, has the mental and physical grind of the long seasons and constant recruiting worn Coach Roo down at all? There's no question that I have a lot of coaching years left. It's something uh, that I love doing. Uh, I don't think there's many people that can say that they do something that they love. As long as I'm kicking, I'm still going to be coaching because it's something that I love doing.